Everything here was made of wood, and they just had stones or weights. On the front, we only have one hand, so it only tells us the hours, no minutes. The people who made these clocks were mostly the farmers in the winter. It gets very cold here, sometimes the snow can be this deep, so they couldn't just move away from the farms very easily. So in the cold winter months, you had the choice of making clocks or of making babies. And some people, of course, did both. But in the springtime, they would take these then to the towns and markets, sell them off, and they had extra money. So that's why they made the clocks. Sorry? So then around 300 years ago, they started using the metal mechanical parts we're familiar with today. They haven't invented these, they just copied them from other people. And they put that into a simple box to cover that up on the front. They take on more wood, but it's a lot larger, and they put that onto the front. So now the clock is hiding. And they make this a lot larger than this because they're not just going to put numbers here. They're going to use this big space to paint different kinds of pictures. So just like today people go shopping, they like to see different designs and different colours. Then around 250 years ago, a clockmaker takes one of our painted clocks and then for the first time adds our new friend, the cuckoo bird. So that is how the first cuckoo clock looks like. I'm not just happy by putting in a cuckoo bird, Another clockmaker wants to tell us a very important story, so he made a special clock, like this one, and then he called this clock the in-laws clock. <laughs> Who has in-laws like this? <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> here we have a gentleman called the potato eater, so he sits here with freshly cooked potatoes, one down, num 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 num. Suffering. Yeah. See his little eyes as well. Little eyes. Mm. <laughs> About 150 years ago, then they decided, as well as just painting clocks, they could also carve the wood for decoration as well. This is one of the first uh, kinds of clocks they made. Most of the carving is on the outside, like a picture or mirror frame. And as time went on, they put more and more detail into the middle until eventually they were making clocks like this. So you have animals, birds, birds, trees, all kinds of different things. So the cuckoo clocks themselves, they come in two different types and that depends on how often you have to wind them. Because these are mechanical clocks. I'm sure you all remember the old clocks you had to wind at the back with a key. Well, instead of a key, it's the weight going down that actually turns everything inside. It doesn't have a spring. So to wind the clock up, you take the chain <coughs> and just wind it to the very top. So now the weight is at the top, and that's the power as it comes down. So some of the clocks you will see today have these smaller weights as long as your fingers. And these are what we call one-day clocks. So you have to wind them up to the very top once every day. When they're at the top, they will last 26 hours. So imagine it's 8 o'clock in the morning we wound it up, then we have until 10 o'clock the next morning before it's gone all the way to the bottom and will stop. Some of the other clocks you will see will have these large weights, and these are what we call 8 day clocks. Uh, you see these big grandfather clocks like we have in the corner there, they're all 8 day clocks as well. So it takes 8 days to go from the top down to the bottom. So the one day 8 day clocks, some of them have just two weights, which means we just have the cuckoo bird there. And then some of the other clocks you will see have an extra third weight. And the third weight, weight as you saw on the big one there, is for music. They've added music and also extra, extra movements. So we have the little people on the balcony. The cuckoo is finished, the music will start. The music begins. People start dancing. All the ones that have music have two different uh, musical melodies. So the 
the music you can hear is being made by a variety of these. These are the only part we import into the Black Forest. They come from Switzerland. Swiss people have been making these for nearly 200 years. If you were to take this out of the cuckoo clock and just turn it on its own, it's very quiet. You can hardly hear anything. But when we put it inside the cuckoo clock and connect it to the wood, the wood picks up the vibrations of the metal and amplifies the sound. And because we know we can only hear the music when it's touching wood, if you have taken this out of your cuckoo clock, you can also take it and put it onto the heads of your family and friends and turn it. And if you hear music, you know they have wood inside there. <laughs> <laughs> Is that clever? Okay, cuckoo birds. Uh, we don't have real cuckoo birds inside the cuckoo clocks. Instead, we have these little pipes. You always have two of them and each one then has a little opening for the air to go backwards and forwards with the help of this bellows. Okay, that's pretty simple. So we have two of those with slightly different tones, a higher and lower one. We put that inside the cuckoo clock. And we have a cuckoo! <laughs> that's a large cuckoo where we have lots of space. Then they come in medium size, as the clocks get smaller. And then in the littlest clocks, or smallest clocks, we only have enough space for our baby cuckoo bird. That's our little baby cuckoo. Night time, we'd also like to turn off the sound so we go to sleep. So, on the side of the cuckoo clock, we have a little arm. When the arm is down, here's our cuckoo bird, they can come out. Night time then, we wish to stop the sound, put the arm up, the clock keeps turning of course, but the cuckoo bird now stays inside and gone to sleep when they read a book. In the morning then, you put the arm down, the cuckoo bird gets out of bed, has a drink of water, and is now ready to work all day long. It's very, very simple really, it hasn't changed that much in the last hundred years. Very, very simple and they're also very reliable. So this is the only model that has real water that's going to turn the water wheel. We now have four o'clock, the cuckoo's hiding underneath the roof, four cuckoos, people will dance on the balcony, in the garden, musicians go left to right, and the real water turns the water. So, this is our romantic cuckoo clock. Do we have any romantic people here today? Come on, one person. Want to use romantic? Okay, I'll show you anyway. Again, four o'clock, four cuckoos, people dancing upstairs. And here's our romantic people stuck in front of their house. Of course you have to be married to buy this clock if you're single or not allowed to sell.